Kia ora everyone, I'm Donna Louise from New Zealand and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Now, you will know if you've seen a few of my videos that this is not my regular setup. I am working on a big 5,000 piece Ravensburger puzzle behind me on my big boards and I have that all set up and I don't want to disrupt it or move it. So I thought, let's try to film, you know, a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle on this little putty table here. Hopefully it'll fit and hopefully I'll be able to get some good time-lapse footage. This is a new to me brand. It's called Lettuce. And from what I can tell, it's a New Zealand brand. Now, I have a lot to say to begin with, with the packaging. Because first of all, I mean, what's the name of the puzzle? I'm assuming it's Park Picnic. Like, I like things that are kind of funky and interesting, but don't make me have to guess. You know, so on the side, it does say park picnic. The image is really quite small. I mean, there's a lot of real estate here that they could have blown up the image and make it bigger on the box. It is a thousand pieces and it's designed by Father Rabbit. Um, I looked up Father Rabbit and a lot of them are photographs. This isn't too much of my style, but basically I got this jigsaw puzzle by using like, you know, rewards points that you accumulate and then you can like redeem them for stuff. So I redeemed points for this jigsaw puzzle. Now looking it up online, it actually costs like $49 New Zealand. Would I pay $49 New Zealand for it? I'll tell you at the end. They did have like two illustrations that looked quite nice. I thought those would be more my style um, online, not that I could redeem points for, but those were even more expensive at $52. Ooh, okay. So the brand is called Lettuce. The designer is Father Rabbit. This particular one is Park Picnic. Right away, I wish the image was bigger. The box is nice and sturdy. I think a lot of money has gone into the packaging. And there's a little write-up on the back. I'll read you that later during the time lapse. But it took me forever to figure out how to open the box because it looks kind of indented here. So I thought it was maybe a push-through. No, it's a magnetic flap box so it opens like this and they have their branding the little lettuce heads everywhere which is cute so you open it up and it comes with a card not a big card in fact it's even smaller the image on this card is even smaller than the one on the front of the box i thought oh it's a postcard you could use it to send to someone no it has some writing on the back so you can't even use that to send to someone it does talk about lettuce again park picnic so that's your reference material. Either this image on the front or this image here. And even, look at the back of the box, plenty of room. It's even quite empty there. So not, not too happy about that. Now it comes with a very nice cloth zippered bag. Yes, I appreciate the sustainability, but I do wonder if then so much money has gone into the box, into the bag. What type of quality of pieces are we getting? Could money have been put into making a poster? Maybe making the box smaller? I don't know, we shall see. Um, so far my favorite are like biodegradable or compostable resealable bags. Those are my favorite. So let's just dump these pieces out. Um, I've had a few, you know, zippered cloth bags, especially the ones that come with on the Peace House jigsaw puzzles from New Zealand. And I found a use for one of them, but I do have more. So yes, the bag is cute, it's adorable, it's got a lettuce, yes. Now, looking at these pieces, this is interesting. The back of all the pieces, and I'll put up close-up photos, have the little lettuce branding like the back of the box here. It looks like they are all two-prong standard cut pieces. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, and the image looks a little blurry. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it only two? Oh, it's not. I mean, the pieces feel sturdy enough. It seems it might be a tad, a tad little shine, a tad, not super glossy. But the image already to me looks a bit gloss, uh, blurry. But then again, it's so hard to tell. I don't have a big reference. Um, some pieces are stuck together. I'm going to keep them together. But looking at this right now, besides the border pieces, I think they're all two-prong standard pieces. 
Really? No. So in that case, any two pieces that are connected, I'm keeping connected. And look at that. There are a lot of pieces connected together. I'm going to be gentle and just see. Uh, the image kind of looks blurry to me. But then again, maybe I just got to put more together to be able to tell. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this jigsaw puzzle. I'd like to try to finish it in a day. I don't know if that's possible. But I will, oh, let's see. It's a scenery of a picnic. We got cantaloupe and bread and cheese and raspberries. I guess I could talk about some veggies or fruit that appear on the image. I'll also read you the information on the back of the box. But right to begin with, it feels like the image is a bit blurry. And maybe that's you know, because of the way the photograph was taken, because there's a lot of sun and lighting. Can you even see that? You can't even make that out on camera, I'm sure. I will try to sort, I will try to do my best to build. Right now though, I'm not too overly excited about it, I will admit. But you know, it's good to try these things. It's good to try different brands to see what's out there. Like there's some really bright white pieces and I have no idea, I guess maybe where the sun is, that would be, but I cannot find a piece that is non two prong standard in any of this. It's all the same shape, but some of them are wide, some of them are thinner. So they're, the prongs, oh goodness. The prongs look, eh, maybe there's a bit of variety. Nothing crazy that jumps out at me, but they don't look all the same. I hope so, because this is going to be tricky enough with just, you know, two prong standard cut pieces. Well, there you go. I put two pieces together. Ah, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm already frustrated before even starting. Donna Louise, calm down. It could be fun. Okay, so let me change this camera angle, give you a close up, and we'll just get cracking into it. But uh, I'll give you my honest opinion at the end. And of course, I think I should take out of the equation that I'm not the biggest fan of photographs. But if the photograph is blurry, that I will let you know. Okay, well, let's get to building this park picnic by lettuce. I decided to do a full sort on this jigsaw puzzle because there were definitely distinct colors that I could pick out. The blue from the pail, the red raspberries, the cheese platter, the bread, cantaloupe, the green salad, as well as the carrots. There were a lot of background pieces, which varied from bright white to, to gray to darker gray, and it did have the pattern of the cloth in them. So those were a bit easier to, to just pile up to the side. I did try to kind of sort them as a gradient from lighter to darker. Sorry, I know it's a bit off camera. I also grabbed out all the edge pieces and you will see that I do end up building the border first, which I don't often do, but I thought one, I thought it would be fun, but two, I needed to make sure that this jigsaw puzzle would fit on my small little table. Now, because of the angle that I'm filming and because the puzzle has a little bit of shine, you will notice, especially when I come to build the raspberries, that one of my lights is shining and glaring on it. So I do apologize for that. I debated whether or not to even release this video, but I guess it does show the complexities of trying to film a time lapse, especially when you're adding in shine on the pieces, a little bit of gloss. So for example, the pail there, I know you can't see it very well, the blue pail, it has ice in it and it probably has a bottle of something. You can't really make it out too much on the image. And now I'm doing the raspberries and you will see there's, there's quite a bit of shine that appears on that area specifically. Raspberries are an edible fruit and they're actually from the rose family. The name applies not only to the fruit itself, but to the entire plant. They are perennials with woody stems. I really like raspberries and world production in 2021 was 886,538 tons. This was led by Russia that accounted 22% of that total. Now, raspberries are cultivated across Northern Europe and North America, and they're eaten in a variety of ways, like just as the fruit itself or in preserves, cakes, ice creams, and even liqueurs are made out of them. They're rich in vitamin C, manganese, and dietary fiber. The cantaloupe is a type of true melon, 
and it referred at one point only to the non-netted orange-fleshed melons of Europe. But today, cantaloupe is used to refer to any orange-fleshed melon from that species, including the netted musk melon. That's what they call a cantaloupe in North America. And a rock melon is called a cantaloupe in Australia and New Zealand. And then spanspec, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, in Southern Africa is called a cantaloupe. Cantaloupes can actually range in size by quite a bit from 0.5 to 5 kilograms, which is from 1 to 11 pounds. In 2016, global production of melons, including cantaloupes, totaled 31.2 million tons. And China accounted for 51% of the world's total. Other significant countries growing cantaloupes were Turkey, Iran, Egypt, and India. The carrot is a root vegetable typically orange in color, though heirloom variants include purple, black, red, white, and yellow, as you can see depicted in this jigsaw puzzle, all of which are domestic forms of the wild carrot, which is native to Europe and southwestern Asia. The plant probably originated in Persia and was originally cultivated for its leaves and seeds. Now, this confuses me because I did not know a carrot had seeds. Where are the carrot seeds? I've never seen a carrot seed, have you? But, but then again, you plant the seed to grow a carrot. What does a carrot, where, where are the carrot seeds from? I'm so confused. The most commonly eaten part of the plant is the taproot. I guess that's what they call, what I just call the carrot. Although the stems and leaves are also eaten as well and cooked with, the domestic carrot has been selectively bred for its enlarged, more palatable, less woody textured taproot. Where are carrot seeds? Well, where do you find the carrot seed? I gotta look that up. I'm so confused right now. You know how when you wanna grow a potato, you cut part of the potato and you plant part of the potato in the potato roots and makes more potatoes? Where, where do you get a carrot seed from from a carrot? I've pulled carrots out of gardens. When I was a kid, we would just pull them right up out of the garden and eat them. But I don't remember seeing any seeds on the carrot. Oh my God, I'm probably making myself sound like an idiot. What's a carrot seed? Bread is a staple food prepared from a dough of flour, usually wheat and water, and is usually baked. Of course, nowadays we have a lot more gluten-free flours and rice flours, buckwheat flours, so bread comes in quite a variety. Now, throughout recorded history and around the world, it has been an important part of many cultures' diet. It's one of the oldest human-made foods, having been of significance since the dawn of agriculture, and it plays essential roles in both religious rituals and secular culture. Designed by Father Rabbit, Lettuce is pleased to present this summer park picnic puzzle photographed in Auckland's Cromwell Park, New Zealand from the collection of photographs by homeware brand Father Rabbit, sunny dappled light falls on an appetizing scene of sourdough, salad, cheese, and fruit. Lettuce loves the ritual of puzzles. We are creating puzzles and collaborating with designers to bring you interesting, gorgeous scenes to delight and amuse. There is something extremely mindful about puzzling on your own or with family. Pour yourself a cup of tea or glass of wine and relax with your puzzle. We hope you love them. You may even want to frame them. Remember, once you have finished, it's a lovely idea to puzzle swap with friends like you would a book. I have this expression that I use, and it applies to this jigsaw puzzle. I didn't hate it. I mean, it's the kind of thing if, if I was somewhere and the puzzle was out, I would sit down and puzzle it. Would I go choose to grab it on purpose? No, not if there was a other variety of jigsaw puzzles. First of all, you'll see in the time lapse that there is some glare. The pieces do have a little bit of shine, but again, that depends at the angle that the light is shining. And because I'm not using my standard full top-down view, I do realize that you got some glare on the jigsaw puzzle, I'm sorry. But that also shows that when you're puzzling, the angle and the light, depending on the amount of glare, will affect your sight. So it was much easier for me to do the jigsaw puzzle sitting down, which I've noticed now when I speed run, because I tend to stand up, if there is glare in the jigsaw puzzle, it hinders me. It's easier to do sitting down. Um, 
the photograph is nice. The actual big parts in the image are not blurry. The blurriness comes for the background. And I kind of approached it as if it was a gradient. So the blurriness in the background did not bother me in the sense that I was able to kind of determine where the pieces went. I approached it more like a blending of a gradient. What I did do is I used the little image of the lettuce on the back of the pieces to help me determine which direction the pieces went because they're all just two prong standard pieces. Now, nice variety of piece shapes in itself. Like I don't feel any two shapes were exactly alike and the prongs were very different. This could actually be a really nice cut if there was more variety, more variety of pieces. But when I got down to just the gray pieces, I was like, eh, I've done all the fun stuff. So I actually, you'll see in the time lapse, took a corner of the puzzle off, flipped it over, and I used the back pattern on the pieces to help me determine which direction the pieces went. And that made it go a lot faster. It was easier. There is texture and color and gradient in this. What is it? It's like the picnic cloth, if you wish, that they're sitting on to, to eat their picnic. But it did help knowing which direction the pieces went. If I wouldn't have done that, I think it would have taken me a lot longer and I would have just probably gotten frustrated. I didn't hate it, but I wouldn't pay $49 for it. I would rather see a perfectly matte finish, a better variety of piece shapes. Although for two prong standard pieces only, it was pretty good. I will admit I didn't encounter false fits, but I did use the pattern on the back of the pieces to help me when I got down to those gray background pieces. I think probably too much money is being spent on the packaging. I don't need that nice zippered cloth bag. Just a resealable, compostable, or biodegradable bag would be great. The box with the magnetic lid, just a simpler box. I would rather see a bigger image. I would rather a poster be included. I think for me that would make the overall puzzling experience more fun. Would I do another one? No. Um, I did like the illustrations that they had, but those are even more expensive at like $52. Sorry, I, I'm not gonna spend 52 New Zealand dollars on one of their puzzles. And the other thing is, when I came to do those close-up shots of like the raspberry and the bread and whatnot, it is so difficult to take apart. Like this thing is not, is not coming apart. This thing is, is solid. I, it's very, very sticky. The pieces are all kind of stuck together. So I'll be honest, I'm not the best at breaking down my jigsaw puzzles once I've done them. I'll just fold this up, probably stuff it back in that bag and put it in the box and it'll be forgotten. Uh, I'm a little disappointed, but it's okay. It's okay. I do think more money was spent on the packaging than on the puzzle itself. No, it's not my style of image, but overall, I did enjoy it in that sense of, you know, being a photograph. I didn't hate it. <laughs> but yeah, that's about all I have to say. Unfortunately, I probably won't be doing another one. But I do enjoy trying different brands and doing something different on the channel. Because unless you do the puzzle yourself, you'll never find out. So let me know, have you done a lettuce jigsaw puzzle? I believe they're only available in New Zealand, so I'm not sure if they're readily available everywhere else. And do you prefer photographs or illustrations? I think by now we all realize that I definitely prefer illustrations. Matte finish. I'm trying to think of the last time I did a photograph that I really, really enjoyed, that I really liked. I'd have to think about that. If you guys have any recommendations for, you know, 500 piece, 1000 piece, doesn't matter the brand, just a photograph that you think I would really enjoy, leave it down below and I will try to get my hands on one. I really, yeah, I think there probably is a photograph image out there that I would really enjoy. I just, I can't even think on one on the top of my head, but if you were to ask me about illustrations, oh, the list would never end. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it for the love of puzzles. I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao. Look at this, I mean this thing, Okay, well, okay, well.
It was at this very moment that she realized that she had <coughs> up, having forgotten to take in a finished photograph of the completed jigsaw puzzle, which is why at the end of the time lapse you see a photograph of it and not one of the completed jigsaw puzzle. Well, I mean, it stayed together pretty well, you know. I was shaking it pretty hard. That's actually... One puzzle was harmed in the making of this video. 